So a week ago, I put out a video on Cyclozar and why it's a low-key metagame breaking for Pokemon singles. And boy, did I get a lot of comments telling me why I was wrong about that, so let's go through some of them. Just Roar. Unfortunately, Cyclozar gets a move called Taunt, so they can block any opposing Whirlwind or Roar. That mod is actually just bad. Sticky web and boom, it's useless. Actually, Cyclozars are almost always running heavy duty boots, and when they don't, they're running a choice scarf. So the effect of Sticky Webs is almost always nullified against this Pokemon. Um, Shed Tail is counterable. It's a little move called Taunt. Cyclozar also gets Taunt, so you need a ridiculously fast Taunt user in order to beat it to the punch. Honestly, I think Cyclozar is incredibly predictable, so knowing what the mod has, you can counter it. The point of Shed Tail is that you can choose who to swap to after your opponent makes a swap. So really, you just have to perfectly predict who they're going to go to every single time, and even then, it won't take any damage doing so because of the substitute buffer, so good luck with that. It's like everybody forgot Infiltrator Dragapult exists. Oh, true, I guess we'll just keep our Dragapult in every single turn in case the Cyclozar comes around. Same goes for Prankster Taunt users. Just make sure your entire team can outspeed a base 121 speed Pokemon. Doesn't sound over-centralizing at all. 